Before we dive into coding, this video will give an overview of the data science tools that we'll be using in this course. Our toolkit will include three components. The first is the Python programming language, which I discussed in the introduction. Python will be the foundational scripting language that we will use to perform various automations. The next component is the Pandas data analysis library. Pandas is a library of functions and variables that enable us to use Python in the same way we use spreadsheets. The last component is an environment called Colab or Google Colaboratory, which is a collection of web-based analysis notebooks. Colab is where we will write our code, visualize the results, and debug if needed. As mentioned, Python is a powerful, high-level programming language used by millions of people around the world. There are a few key Python features that we'll use in this course. The first feature is that Python has variables that store different types of data, such as words, labels, and values. Next, Python is useful for automating repetitive data analysis tasks. For example, there are functions that can load a large number of input files and merge them all together. Such a task would take hours using a spreadsheet, but in Python, it takes a few lines of code in a matter of seconds. The next tool that we will use is Pandas, a data analysis library or package for Python. Packages are like add-ons that contain functions that target a specific application. Pandas is one of thousands of Python packages out there that specialize in various applications. Pandas in particular is one of the reasons that Python has grown so much. This chart illustrates the popularity of different packages over the last decade, with Pandas surpassing all others in the last few years. Pandas has grown in popularity because it is so useful for the data science community. Pandas has features that are useful for the data analysis process. The first is the ability to put data in two-dimensional tables similar to that of a spreadsheet. In Pandas, this table object is called a data frame. The next feature of Pandas is a toolkit of functions that allows you to manipulate, visualize, and output data in various ways. The last tool is the Colab environment. Colab is where you actually write and manipulate the code. It's hosted on Google Drive as a web-based platform, so you don't need to install anything to get started. Colab is what's known as a notebook format that includes cells that can contain code, but can also include explanatory text, graphics, and even videos. The notebook format is best for beginners to write and debug code. Plus, you can make your notebooks into reproducible reports that allow collaborators to see exactly how the data was transformed from start to finish.